hi guys welcome back to another video and today i want to share with you this cute and super easy to do valentine's day nail art i made this on my natural nails with regular nail polishes only and yeah just for the record um my pointer finger still has a little tiny bit of that false nail tip on there because it broke um like during or i think it was before christmas and it has grown out almost fully so it's almost time for me to take off that little bit of false tip but if you want to know how i made this please keep on watching so you want to continue on with clean nails and just add your base coat to that as usual i'm just using the one by essence which is one of my favorites then for the thumb we are going in with a beautiful pink color and this one is by essence as well and it is 89 and it's called a high pink panther it is one from the the gel like nail polishes so they actually don't have to be cured with an led light but they do give a beautiful gel like shine then for the pointer finger i'm going to add that same pink color and i'm just adding one um, layer first and of course don't forget to cap off the edge as well then for the middle finger i'm going in with a beautiful purpley shade and this one is by china glaze and it's called we got the beat and this is like a pretty like unique purple shade so it is like a medium purple but it contains beautiful gold like shimmer it really is a beautiful color it is quite sheer though so you need at least two like thick layers or three thin uh, thinner layers to make it completely opaque but for the ring finger we are going in with another color by essence and this one is 82 my hula hoop so um of course don't forget to cap off the edges and just make sure that your first layer is completely dry before you go in with your next layers so in total i just added one base of the lighter pink and the regular pink and in total i added three thin layers of that china glaze purpley color so once that is completely dry you just want to take a little bit of top coat i'm just using one by catrice i'm using this like all the time you've seen me using it a, like a thousand times in my previous videos and i'm going to uh, play a little bit with some loose glitter i got this glitter from aliexpress i think i got it from the born pretty store um like their official aliexpress uh selling point so i'm just going to add a little bit of top coat to one of my tiles and i'm just going to use that as my mixing plate and i dunked in some of that loose glitter this is just regular cosmetic glitter um you could use it for acrylic nails as well or you can just put it into gel or anything like that but i just really like using it with some base coat or i meant top coat of course um so you can make really cool like glitter, uh, glittery nails oh man I'm, I'm stuttering today you can make some really cool glittery nails with regular nail polishes as well if you are like me and just a true nail polish girl you know what i mean you don't want to use gels all the time and especially on natural nails it is just fun to change up your manicure every now and then so nail polish is the thing for you but i'm just using that mixture of that top coat and that loose glitter to make like a glitter gradient effect to the thumb and i'm going to use up the rest of that glitter i had left on my little tile right there and just applying that very like sparsely and randomly onto the purple nails so the design actually ties in and we don't only just add glitter to the thumb i just think this is a beautiful glitter though there's some purple in there as well um, i have about six different glitters from this particular collection and i really like them all i really had a hard time choosing which glitter to use but i just got this one because there were, was some purple in there and i just really wanted to do a purpley pink valentine's day design and not your standard red or just your basic pink you know but for the pointer finger i'm going to add another layer of that beautiful medium pink color and i'm going to add a silver 
with rhinestones like AB crystals inlaid little bow and I'm just pressing that into the wet polish this is one of my techniques which I just love doing especially on my own nails because I only wear designs for about six to seven days sometimes longer if I don't feel like changing up my manicure yet but um, it actually works really really well to just adhere bigger gems to natural nails in just a layer of wet nail polish. I have to say of course it will last longer if you use a nail glue but I feel like on natural nails that is too harsh to take it off again. Um, if you wear acrylic nails or gel nails or you have um, a gel overlay, be my guest, just use a little bit of like gel top coat or a gem glue gel or even a little bit of nail glue to adhere your gems because that is not like directly onto your natural nail but i just feel like this way works best and it lasts at least seven days so for the ring finger i added uh, another layer of that um i think it was called my hula hoop or something that lighter like lilac -y pink color and i just added a big silver like ab crystal inlaid heart in there to make it a little bit more like uh, valentine's day ish and then for the purple fingers, um, I'm just adding another layer of that top coat by Catrice and just inlaying some cut out silver heart shapes. I have bent these a little bit on forehand because I have quite like strong C curve nails. So I actually need to bend them a little bit. Um, you could also just bend them with the help of a pencil or a pen or anything like that. But I have like a really handy tool in which you can just lay your embellishment and then use um, the other part. You just press it on there so you actually make a little curve in the metallic um, like embellishments. So you just want to add that to your nails. I added two to the middle finger and one to the pinky and I just think it looks really really pretty. Oh and I have had some questions about that like crystal katana knockoff thing that I use the one with the pink little gems in here uh, you just saw me use that I got that one from Aliexpress as well it was about two euros two to three euros or something but it works perfectly and it's a lot more affordable than the official crystal katana so if you want any links or something just let me know in the comments down below and I will try to look it up for you I got it about half a year ago but I might still be able to um, look that one back up but to finish off this design i'm just going in with another layer of my catrice high shine and quick dry top coat of course don't forget to cap off your edges and never like if i say never please don't do it uh, never go over your gems or your rhinestones or anything like that with a top coat because that will dull the shine of your gems and your stones and stuff like that of course you can always go over your metallic uh, little embellishments and such um, they don't lose their shine but ab crystals rhinestones all that jazz you don't want to go over with a top coat because that will really dull them and make them lose their shine but this was already my entire design it is a quick and snappy one i really hope you liked it um yeah if there are any questions or comments or anything like that just let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you liked it and let me know what your plans are for valentine's day i'm really curious about that i'm not really planning anything but we do have our 14th year anniversary on the 6th of february so yeah i'm not sure what we're gonna do but thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i will see you in the next video